Thank you. People power. Our power. And you be everywhere. Please take your seats, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the quote of the day today for me, the quote of the day. And uh, my brother Nobat, I want you to print this on a t shirt for me. The quote of the day for me is if you don't care about the politics of your country, then you is a fool. Nobody, you're going to call your t shirt here, you're not getting your If you don't care about the politics of your country, you is a fool. Dash, Dr. Kiza Besiji. Thank you very much. Kubato fa yo, kubukule mbeze kwa 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 angaliyo. Ngatebi kwa tako. Ngatofa yo ngelijo kule mberu wamu. Ngatofa yo mawali wama duwali lo obate wali. Ngatofa yo misoro josasura chijukola. Dene olimu gwa gwa. Thank you very much Dr. Kiza Besiji. Mchimanyenti ukununule kwanga chitu kakatako Wabana ba Uganda fina Pira kwe wotu nuline siyo no siri kireyo Olite mwensi yorukwe Nabo wabakuluwa nirako kwe no siri kira jolio Vero wabasadase Kuno musaja tumuta utina yenga tuwa kunganye Tuwa denga tuimba Ebanga Leonardo Kiza Besige Abi squeeze Ze mu slang emu Mu kote emu Kote yeyo Njagade Njogere na muruzungu Lua street If you don't care About the politics Of your country You is a fool Not you are a fool Kupanga vogamba You are Uizo tutuwa lina mufi na No You is a fool Gwengo mundu um, our distinguished guests, particularly the giant of the struggle for freedom in Uganda, Dr. Kiza Besije, uh, Madam First Lady, uh, Dr. Miriam Matembe, the Lord Mayor of Kampala, the Secretary General of FDC, my brother, Kaija. The Deputy President, Honorable Mpuga from Central. Um, the Honorable Jody Mujisha from West. The Honorable uh, John, John Baptist Nambeshe from East. The Secretary General. Honorable Members of Parliament present here today. The councillors and all other leaders the National Executive Committee of the National Unity Platform, Honorable Leaders of Political Formations, present here today, John Ken Luchamzi, the man, Saddam Gaida, from Jema, from, from PPP, um, Zay Chivirike Mayanja from Jema, and all other leaders present here today, the food soldiers, our gallant food soldiers, <laughs> brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I greet you today in the name of the Almighty God. I also greet you in the name of the struggle for freedom and democracy in Uganda. I want to, in a very special way, welcome all of you to this new home of the National Unity Platform and the People Power Movement. Brothers and sisters, it is in order for all of us to say, Ebenezer, for this far that the Lord has brought us. In the beginning, many naysayers dismissed us as a mere wave. They said we would, you know, cease to exist in a short while. But I responded to them at that time, and I still respond to them now, that we are here to stay because we are the national unity platform. I thank the people of Uganda for believing in the message that we carry 
for trusting us and for voting us into numerous offices. But most importantly, I want to thank the people of Uganda for getting involved and taking an active role in this struggle that we are all involved in to free our country from tyranny. I want to thank the leadership of this secretariat headed by the able Secretary General Comrade David Lewis Lubongoya and the entire team for working under pressure to make this day possible. Thank you very much, comrades. Thank you for taking pressure, not only from me, but from all over, all the corners. Thank you very much for being my shock absorber. And thank you very much for taking the pain that should have been taken by so many people. Please know that we appreciate you and we never ever take you for granted. I want to thank the elected leaders, especially our members of parliament, mayors, councillors, and all our leaders, but very especially the members of parliament. Friends, it is mainly because of you that we are here today, and I want you to know that. It is largely because of your contributions, financially and otherwise, that we have kept going, and we are confident that we shall keep going. I want to thank our gallant foot soldiers who have always been on the receiving end of the brutality, the beatings, the prison and the abductions. Thank you very much for standing the pain that we cause by speaking truth to power. We salute you brothers and sisters. I'm always passionate when talking about the foot soldiers because most of our dead comrades we are foot soldiers. Most of the missing people you see, we are foot soldiers. Most of the political prisoners in prison today, the known and the unknown, are foot soldiers. And yet, most of the committed and solid comrades that we have in this struggle are foot soldiers. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to know today that your sacrifice is never ever taken for granted and I want to promise you today that your input and contribution will never go in vain. One day you will be proud of the things that you're doing today. I promise you that. One day, one day is one day. I always say this to you and I say it again. Dero Kutoba in Chakuvimba. In a very, very special way, ladies and gentlemen, I want all of you to join me in recognizing and honoring Dr. Kiza Besige. <laughs> Allow me, sir, today, like many times in the past, I will not address you as Dr. Kiza Besige. I will address you as President Kiza Besige. Because we elected you and you won the 2016 election. So you are president, my president, and president of so many people who elected you in 2016. For the last 20 years, ladies and gentlemen, this giant that we have in our midst today has endured persecution, dehumanization, humiliation, all at the cost of all of us. He has been betrayed by comrades that he has trusted most. He has gone ahead to inspire many of us. Doctor, I stand here before these people mainly because of the challenges that you gave me. You will allow me, Doctor, with your permission, I'll tell these people a story. One day, Nakucha Lira Eruzira, Nawakwani Senida, and he challenged me. He said, in our age, Wari Dr. Mulunji Nyo, Mokola Sentezo, Osoro Kuri Ramonsi Yonayona, but because of the pain that you had for our country, you got into the struggle, which was even more dangerous than the one we involved in today. So it's because of you that I felt the challenge and I rose to the occasion to do what I'm doing and be sure that it will not end on me, but I will continue that legacy and push it down so many generations to come. We salute you very much, sir. And may God grant you a long life 
so that one day you see your dreams come true through many people, including myself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the same way, I want to honor um, those senior comrades. Many of them, you've seen them here. Muzei uh, Chibirige Mayanja, Muzei John Kendu Chamuzi, and many others that went to pave way to instrument of change that has never stopped and will not stop until Uganda is free. Comrades, although we are today in a celebratory mood, Malaba Mwena Muliba Sanyufu, Mulimu Kujabuza, Mulimu Kweyagala, Kubanga Muliwaka, but allow me to request you today to use this day not just to celebrate but to reflect Wanakula yote tulu koze sa, kujia kuza kujia kuza na ye tufumi itirize, tulowoze waje tufude. Bichiri tuisemu, na wawe tuli. We are certainly not where we used to be. I mean, we are not where we want to be, but we are not where we used to be. Dr. Besi ya choke deko vurunji. Nti, chetuwa ya galasi chechiruo, na yate, wetuwa alisi wetuli. Tuina wetutuse, tusi, Dine musaba kati hatia na ukutia okubeira mchitu mumairo kumi okutuli nana. Agenda kutuke chisera ngatia okubeira mkwanga lirimu nafi aduke. So today, I want us to use this day to meditate, to reflect, to think about the reasons why we got into this struggle. Mdo uoziru wa chitu wa ingira mbintubi nebi obolabi. Why do we paint the walls with fallen comrades in the far past and in the recent past? This should be a day for us to think about this journey which has been a journey for not only liberating our country but to transform it into a country that we can be proud to call home. To do agala just ku ku guba bugo bimu seveni no to agala kuchu sensi ya fenga to kosebi buka kariensi ya fe ne sende zomu womu soroze tu wa feke nini to do say Uganda ya fe to do fule Uganda e ya Gaza Uganda neva kadama je vajo koma o but eme ku agala kuda yo that is the country that we want ladies and gentlemen we got onto that journey and it has been a journey of pain and sacrifice it has been a journey of constant lessons a journey of constant growth and we thank god that we are here today so as we open this place as we open this new headquarter ladies and gentlemen i request all of us to avoid having that sense of arrivalism of completeness because we are not there it is not yet uhuru the job is not completed Tembelangawano ne muloza tu watu ka tembelangawano ne muvimba no tetuna baya dokutunda kama katundu tundu ko lugendo je tugenda May this sweet quarter ladies and gentlemen be a monument for the struggle for freedom a monument of all those that have come long before us that have contributed to this struggle that we are living today and may it be a monument for those that have paid the ultimate price with their lives for the freedom of this country. Ebifana nyao to ebipari tekao, bivirenga vitu jukiza. Bulimontuye na ena, kufa wali wanonaba wali wala, aligeza ako kwa galo kwe siruwaza. Tusaba, atunenga kwe bivifana nyi, ama nye, wali yo abawa yo bulichevaina na bulichevali. Okulaba gekuangali ya ferino, hitu ukajiri ino kutuka. If there's anything to guide us, let those noble memories guide us, ladies and gentlemen. This comrade Yasin Kauma, Rita Nabu Kenya, Dan Chiyune, Banji nyo 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 nyo. They no longer exist with us physically, but they exist and they are tattooed on our hearts. We shall always remember them. We shall always salute them. We shall always respect them. We shall always think about them. 
So, brothers and sisters, again, I want you to know that what we are opening today, this, our new headquarters, is certainly not the best headquarters. Mwena mwala bechifana nchitwaso kukubala ka, chanja ulo kubizimbe bino bituina. Wanotuwa hali tuwakala o flows na nyingi nyo. So this is not what we want. We want it bigger and better than here. But this that we have should be seen as a command post for the struggle for the liberation of our country. For us and as NUP and all other forces of change. So, again, we must not relax. We must never ever relax. Tetu zikizanga, temu zikizanga, bachalibangi. Paka, gatutu usejetu ino kugenda. With the little resources that we receive compared to the challenges and problems that we have, this is what we've been able to put up just as a glimpse. Ngapa kubira tochi in a new Uganda, Chiche tusobolo kola, nga tusoloza sendezo momo, solo nga tezibibwa. What can we do with the taxpayers' money? All the trillions, what can we do? What shall we be able to do with the 